All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the ROM hack block of this year's PSRM. My name is Headbob, and today I'll be running uh, Pokemon Unbound for you all today. Um, I'll get into it when I start the run a little bit, a little bit about what this ROM hack's about, but I'll, I'll do a countdown to start, I guess. Um, we'll say three, two, one. All right, so this is a ROM hack of Fire the Green. Uh, it's like kind of its own thing. It's like entirely different region, completely different storyline. Um, and it was made as like a difficulty hack. A lot of people run on uh, difficulties that are going to be harder than the one I'm running on. Uh, I'm going to click vanilla for now just because it gives you more options um, if you don't. But you'll see in a second that I'm gonna switch a couple things. Uh, there we go. So I just switched a lot of options there. Um, one of them you might have noticed is that I switched the difficulty back to difficult from vanilla, even though I just said it. Um, and the reason I do that is, even though I'm going to be playing vanilla for most of the run, um, one of the more recent updates made it so that you can't actually see your IVs unless you're not on vanilla mode. So I have to switch to difficulty for a couple fights so I can actually see how good my, my starter is, which I'm going to get momentarily. <laughs> I have three Pokemon here, they're all baby pseudo legends. Gibble, Larvitar, and build them. So I'm gonna save before I get my poke. And it is gonna be Gibble. I'm gonna reset a, for a pretty decent one. I have quite a bit of thresholds here. You can see the nature right away, so it can be a little bit faster of a reset. There's only a certain subset of natures that I'm looking for here. Impish is one of them. Impish is actually great, because defense is actually very important in this run. So assuming we have good enough attack, we will be we will taking this. Shoot. Uh, it's not quite good enough, and Spadef was bad too, so... i go for another one. Hopefully not here for too long. Um, And it's not going to do. So basically I'm looking for not minus attack, defense, or speed. And then decent IVs and attack. Okay, we'll check this out. Minus defense isn't great, but... Could be fine if our IV is good enough. It's not great. <laughs> it's unlucky. Surely. Oh, also, uh, one of the options that I forgot to mention, one of the options that I switched in that giant menu of options there was I made it so that nickname select is turned off as well. Okay, that'll do. Um, so that each one of those Gibble resets would have been significantly faster. And considering Gibble is like the only Pokemon you get, um, it's just worth it in the long run. Well, I am going to catch a, a Poke for HMs later, but this is the one we're going to be using for the rest of the run. So, um, there was a selection of difficulties at the very beginning. Um, there was Vanilla Difficulty Experts, uh, Vanilla Difficult Expert and Insane. 
So how it works is if you click Insane or Expert, uh, or rather if you click Vanilla or Difficult, you can't pick Expert or Insane until the rest, until like the post game. It like locks you out of it. But I can switch between Vanilla and Difficult all I want. And the difference between those two isn't actually all that large. It's just generally like, well, some of the major fights like Gym Leaders, they have better pokes and movesets. But like on all the regular fights, the only difference really is um, the AI on their pokes is, is better, whereas in vanilla it's completely random. Um, and sometimes I actually want that for difficult. It's sometimes really nice to not have to worry about um, like sand attack or or whatever. Like it'll always use the best attacking move it has every time. Um, so it is actually better to difficult for some fights, but as of right now, it isn't worth it to me to switch for like one regular fight. Um, so we're just gonna... I have a difficult for now, just for a couple fights. And then we're gonna switch it back to vanilla before we get into any major fights. We're gonna fight our rival for the first time here, the one we just battled with. He has Larvitar. Luckily we have Metal, Metal Claw right away. On previous versions of the game, Gable would just start with um, Tackle and Fire Fang instead. So you'd have to weaken all the Larva cards with Fire Fang. Um, as well as there's a Rog and Roll later on one of the early trainers. You have to beat that with Fire Fang as well. Also, you may have noticed already that I have skipped a couple um, movies, like it'll fade to black and then you like you want to like a trainer battle or some important dialogue or something. That's because another one of the options that I set was uh, skip cutscenes. And the skip cutscenes button actually uh, cuts out a lot of different stuff in this game. Like there's probably like, there's, there's countless cutscenes, like 30 plus I would assume. Um, that was introduced in the recent version of Unbound and saves a lot of time. So. Um, Professor isn't done talking to us. We're gonna go to our mom. She wants to talk to us before we left. As well as this random sign that insists that we, we talk to it. Uh, this ROM hack has all mods up to Gen 7 by default. And I think there is like a an additional patch you can do that replaces some of the Gen 7 mods with Gen 8 mods. But it's like kind of like just more of like an aesthetic thing. It's not actually all that important. So um, I talked to my mom here, and then I'm gonna go upstairs to get another berry juice, the PC, and I'm gonna need that very, very late. On top of the berry juice I already took from my, uh, gibble early on. Alright, so we're gonna take the rappel the professor gave us and use it to pass through the first routes without any encounters. Um, you're going to see this a lot. I'm going to open um, my menu with R there. Um, I'm going to use that later to pass any spinners I need to pass, um, but also just to open the bag quicker. It was one of the early settings I did. So we stumble right on this, this guy, stealing from this mart, we catch him right-handed. So we have to go chase him down. But before we do that... I'm gonna get some stuff. And we're gonna 
talk to this guy in the top of Bellum Town. Um, who's been getting, I think his food's been stolen by Sandslash, which that's kind of unlucky, but I'm going to try and help him out. This is a completely optional quest, by the way, that I'm taking on here, um, but it is very important for the longevity of Gibble here. However, we're gonna ignore all that for now and go back to our first town. Yeah, that was a lowland sand slash. So we're gonna go back. What we just missed there was them trying to catch an Articuno with the Master Ball that they got from the package that they stole from the Mart. In case anyone wants to keep up with the lore, there's a lot to keep track of, but... <laughs> so they're unfortunately faster than us, so we gotta get flinched a million times. Of a lot of damage. So, before we leave, we got the parcel just now, so we're gonna have to give it back to Professor in order to advance the story a little bit more, because that's what we were trying to get in the first place. I don't know if there's like a heal in here or anything. That'd be nice. Because I took a little more damage than you should there. But even if even if there isn't, um I have a potion, so should be able to be okay here. And also the thing about this game is there's free heals in a lot of spots because you probably kind of assume that you're playing on a like a hard difficulty. So you're struggling in places. Um, so we're gonna get a free heal in like two fights after this. So we're gonna go back to that cave that we ditched before. Don't have to risk the uh, encounters this time. So we're going to switch back to vanilla now. We've had enough of difficult. Flip that. Heal up. And move through the cave. Oh, I totally didn't repel. Nice. That's okay. Yeah. Regular trainer here. There's a lot of like ice types in this section, which is like, like while they're easy to kill, most of them don't actually have ice type moves, um, like the snow run. But there's a smoochum later that you do outspeed in one shot, but if you miss Metal Claw, then it has Powder Snow and can rock your world. But most of these trainers are like pretty pretty chill comparatively. To what we're gonna experience a bit later. That's not great.
Continue onwards. How likely is this? This is an 8 and 16 range. Cool. Not all that scary. Again, that one doesn't have a nice move. Okay, and so there's a chancy right after this, and we're gonna get a free heal. Um, one thing about berry juice is you saw I equipped the berry juice in the, the last time I menued. Um, if you enter like a major fight with a berry juice on, or any consumable item for that matter, and you use it within the fight, it uh it gives it to you backward afterwards. But that doesn't apply with like any regular fight, so if I had burned my berry juice earlier, um, on like some random fight, I would not have gotten it back. But considering those two fights are pretty free, there was no real risk there. So Ace now has a Swine Up. Uh, it has Powder Snow. One of the reasons why I didn't want to leave it on difficult here is so that it's not always going to use it like it would in difficult. Mud Slap is not great. But Larvitar is not that scary, so as long as we just get past this, we should be okay. All this can do is bite, which does a not too much damage. Okay, pretty good fight. Didn't end up, didn't end up actually using the berry juice. So, I'm gonna menu now. I just got the safety goggles, so I'm gonna use that for Merskull, which is the first gym leader. The reason why I'm doing this now is because the next fight I'm gonna do has a Pat Rat with Covet, and I don't really wanna lose my berry juice that way. So, I wanna give it something else that's not the berry juice. So right now I technically could go to Merskull, um, but that Sand Slash from earlier gives a very useful TM. So I want to be able to get to level 15 so I can learn Fire Fang, so I can beat it and get the TM. Yeah, Sand Attack's not great. So we're just going to fight some optionals before that fight. miss. Oh wow. <laughs> I think that had I think that was 120 power present. But thankfully to just heal the bridges right here. It's probably gonna be a, a couple of those this run for sure. It's all good we just got extra experience. That's a bit better. Oh my god, did it- wow. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's, def that's definitely 120. My defense is, like, good. Five percent to roll 120 power, by the way. Also has Hustle. Okay. 
I wonder if I can potentially get close to 15 off just this. I'm probably gonna end up fighting the other fight anyways, but... Okay. Cool, man. Okay, so I have 15. I think off that I will just skip the other trainer. Or no. I, I probably I should fight him. Just in case. There's also a revive back here that I maybe would like to get. Although now I'm kind of worried about my repel steps, because I used a lot extra there. Yeah, experience is pretty hard to come by, actually. If I were to just do the main story of this game, I'd be fighting a lot less optionals. But I can promise you I'd be very underleveled. Like, maybe... Yeah, I, like, I, I just wouldn't be able to keep up with the, the curve, I think. So, we're gonna go back up... into the cave. I get this item on the way up. Which in hindsight, maybe you could have gotten on the way down, but also kind of really want that for, for later. Let's not do that. Um, go back up. That's not going to do. It's one over. So, same kind of thing for the sand slabs that we're coming up on. I'm going to have to fight it. And then, like, it's, like, in its cave or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm using an extra repel there. Gotta keep that in mind. Um, it's one in four to kill me on any given turn. So I will be saving for this, too. Well, technically, it's not guaranteed to kill you, but... You likely die if it rolls Icicle Spear. You also have a chance to one-shot this with Fire Fang. Middle Claw's good. It's unlucky. Do I have, like, worse defense than I remember? I swear it was, like, perfect IV neutral. I mean, Sand Slash is considered a wild Pokemon, so its IVs are random. IVs in nature. So it could have just rolled high attack. Man. So it also has Bide. Bide is an auto win. Because, unless you miss. Because it takes returns to activate and you kill it faster than that so also has defense curl which does nothing because you two shot it anyways and metal claw which does not kill you there we go and i missed and i got ice skull spear okay
A little bit of trouble this early game. There we go. Okay. So, took me a while to get there, but we did finally get our, our setup move for the run, Hone Claws. Um, X items in this game are very late, so Hone Claws is going to take us through the early to mid game fights. Also very helpful with the accuracy boost, considering most of the moves I'll be using in this portion are not 100% accurate. Um, so it's really nice and definitely worth getting. So, dropping our Pell and catching a Sandshrew here. Um, a trainer in the next uh, town is going to offer us a Ducklet for Sandshrew. And Ducklet not only helps to the first gym, this is a double battle and is a grass type gym. Um, but also gives us the relevant HMs we need for the rest of the run. So how HMs work in this game, I'll explain that, I guess. Um, is you still need folks that can learn the various HMs, but you don't actually have to teach them. So by picking Gibble, Gibble learns Cut, Rock Smash, Strength, and Rock Climb, which you need all four of those. But you don't actually need to teach any of those. Um, so you can just, um, so you can just like have Gibble in your party and then you're good. And then Ducklet learns Surf and Fly, which are the other two that you need. So now that we got Hone Claws, we got our experience, we're gonna TP over to the next town. I've actually never played on nighttime before. All the themes are a little bit different, I'm noticing. Which is kind of cool. So we're gonna trade our, our let's trade our Sandshrew. Um. So yeah, this Ducklet always has the same IVs. They're all really good. Um, it's faster than both of the Pokemon I'm gonna fight in the gym. And has Air Cutter, which does good damage to both the pokes. Unfortunately, you can't even fight this fight as a single battle, even if you wanted to, otherwise I probably would be doing that. So we're gonna enter the gym, get fresh water from the, the guide, as we're kinda starving for healing items right now. <laughs> And, as far as I know, all the gyms have a gimmick. Um, like an in-battle effect. I didn't need to do that. And as you saw two different times there, um, Merskull's is Fog. So, another reason why Bone Claws is pretty clutch. As far as I know, I'm not exactly sure what the map is, but I have not seen Firefang miss with plus one accuracy in fog. So, um, so it's really nice. Yeah, and as you can tell, Merskull's a stoner. <laughs> Has a, a gloom, little baby. Okay, So, safety goggles means I can't get poisoned, which means I don't have to heal anything after the fight. Am I dead here? 
Oh, I just, I, I'm supposed to heal, okay. Right. Oh, it actually doesn't target you. Which is really nice. Yeah, I, I think, I, I'm pretty sure that's part of vanilla. It's like the only double battle that's really relevant for this, um, this run. Um, but I think they have random AI, like, on who they target as well. Okay. This should kill with the, the up accuracy, and it does. Cool. Okay. So I still have my berry juice. I am probably gonna... I'm gonna get free healed pretty soon. Um... But I think I'm gonna equip the berry juice anyways, because some of the... I'm gonna fight a couple more optionals. And some of them actually can pack quite a bit of a punch. Gibble is not that great of a Pokemon. <laughs> so we're getting some lore here. Not that any anyone would know, because we're skipping a lot of cutscenes. Um, we're gonna go to a volcano soon. Because what they try, what they did for Articuno, they tried to catch it in like a Master Ball. They're trying to do for Moltres now, and Moltres is in Cinder Volcano. Get this lemonade for safety. I didn't equip the berry juice like I said I was going to. That's okay. Do it in the Spinner Pass. I'm gonna drop it here because there's not that much grass left and I need to save a repel, so. So this is an optional, as you might have been able to tell. It has a Ledeon, which dies to two Fire Fangs. My punch is good. I tank Silver Wind from here, which is nice. Okay, perfect. I'm in a good position here. I'm gonna save before the next fight. Because while it gives a lot of experience, it can can kill you. No, that's annoying. And a person very here. Okay, no encounters. Cool. So this nurse, there's a couple nurses across the game, most of them battle you. Um, but after you beat them, they heal you, which is really nice, considering there's like no free heals around this area. But also, this nurse in particular has a Chansey, so it gives a buttload of experience. Hoping for double team, because obviously we're using Hone Claws, and we can just hit through that anyways. Seems like we're not going to get that, though. Okay, that's good. So Starly dies with two-shot Chansey. It can't really hurt you all that much. It can put you to sleep, which can be annoying. But the best it has is Egg Bomb, which obviously Chansey's attack, not the greatest.
Something misses great. Okay, that's perfect. So that went well. Well, there. Make our way through Cinder Volcano. There's a lot of items I'm going to be picking up. Some of them more out of the way than others. For example, this rare candy that's very far away. Because experience is so unbelievably important in this early game. We want to get the bite as fast as possible. This Gibble is not that great. <laughs> Sorry, Gibble. Thankfully, um, I don't think I even mentioned this, um, obviously all starters have medium slow in Pokemon games. They made that the case for this too, even though they are pseudo-legendaries. Um, so it would be pretty unbearable to do with slow experience, especially considering how many optionals I'm already fighting. Uh, the Rossberry here. Since I'm already menuing... Obviously a lot of spinners in this section. Luckily spinner passes actually aren't all that slow with the uh, the bag shortcut. So this aroma lady has a Badoo and a C dot. Was a lot worse before, because it had a Rosalian instead of a Badoo, which could actually do a decent amount of damage. But while Badoo still can water sport, which is really annoying, the damage it's actually going to do is not that much. And if, if it doesn't do anything dumb, we just kill it. So that's the last fight. It's the last ordinary fight in this section. We're going to get a free heal before like the, the big evil fight at the end of the section. Got that iron for money. Gonna get a calcium coming up also for money. I'm gonna say no to Jack because that's slow. There's actually no trainers that are mandatory to do with him anyways. Or well there is, but we're gonna we're gonna fight with him anyways, regardless of whether we said yes or no. Ether. And it's X speed. There's not that many X items in the early game, so any relevant ones are very important to get. In our case, the second gym leader has a lot of fast pokes. Walker not necessarily being kind here. Take the free heal, and we're gonna say it before this double, because things can happen. So, we have Staravia as a partner. Staravia's does more damage than us right now, so... Um, typically it will attack the Sableye. Um, it really just depends on what the AI decides to do here. It, how this fight goes, just who it decides to attack. I'm gonna quick, click start to see my HP. Take out Staravia is... okay.
This is interesting. This is probably a best case scenario, honestly. Okay, that's not great. Um, but Sableye should die to Staravia here, which is good. Okay. That was a pretty good fight. Can't actually lose from here. Just a Cacnea, even, I mean, Staravia can die because I'm slower than the Cacnea, but... Okay, so it's not inside to go for the kill. Yeah, kind of stinks that Fire Fangs are best moved throughout this entire section. But we're gonna get... Our, our power boost is gonna get pretty severe pretty quickly when we get Gabite, so... Should be in much better shape after that. Just about at the next town. Um, hopefully my repel lasts. If it doesn't, there's it's not a big deal. I can just pass a spinner. Instead of just walking through the grass, this is a couple seconds. This trainer is now mandatory, was not in the previous update. But extra experience isn't the worst thing in the world. Teleport's good. That was a extraordinarily high roll. Um, I still have the lemonade to use. I didn't want to have to do that though. Okay, that's good. Should be good now. Grassy terrain, razor leaf. Good choice. Yeah, we're just, we just need to get to level 23. There's... Again, there's still no mandatory fights after this, before the gym leader. But we're gonna fight some more optionals. In this case, though, all the optionals before the gym leader from here, they all have a specific purpose that I'll explain later. That, is, that isn't just the experience. I can just go through the grass now, which is nice. Okay, we're gonna go straight to the mart. We're gonna buy a ton of things. There's the repel. No, don't do that. Buy a lot of super potions. So I'm going to start another optional quest in a second here. This one involves fighting a bunch of different like gang members in their hideout. Um, and when we beat them, we get effectively what is the mock bike in other games. Um, what's interesting about this game is through the main story, you don't actually get any sort of bike. So you'd be running the entire game if you didn't do this. So the experience is very helpful, but also like you just wouldn't have a bike for the entire game. And the motorcycle is very fast, so pretty sure it's worth it. So we're going to fight most of the trainers in this place after the gym, but I'm just fighting this one now, just so I can get enough experience to get Gabite before the next gym leader. 
this fight isn't all that bad anyways. We can get clear smog on coughing, which would be annoying. But... Most of, if I did this entire section with Gibble, there is definitely some bad fights. Hopefully it just uses something trivial. Perfect. That'll do. Even if it poisons, that's fine. Oh, I bought 19 supers because... <laughs> You gotta heal a lot. I'm pretty much gonna heal pretty much like between every single fight. There's just a lot of different things that can happen in a lot of different places. So there's a couple gimmicks here. The first one was fog. Um, in the gym here, you can't see anything. Obviously, as you see. You actually get more vision the more trainers you fight in here. So we're going to be fighting three trainers in here, so that we can... Not I mean for the experience, of course, but also so that we can see a bit more in the puzzle that would come afterwards. But yeah, and the in-battle gimmick is you just take residual damage every turn. For not being the dark type. <laughs> My vision is now a little bit bigger. Before it was like a tile, I think. Roughly in radius. Maybe a tile and a half. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a puzzle after this. Um, you have to like dodge running running trainers. And if you get seen, you get brought back to the beginning. Um, you don't, their, their cycles are like kind of random. So you kind of have to react to them a little bit. Which is why the vision is, is nice. Okay, good. So we get 23 here, finally, so we're going to candy to 24, and we're finally done with Gibble. I'm going to go fight... No, not that. Get full those, which is really nice. We did not get full those at all in the previous update. Placing tape down. Is there anything I can do on my end? I don't know how it sounds, unfortunately, so. And then after we evolve, we're gonna get Dual Chop, which is a very powerful move. So after we did all our stuff here, finally gonna go do that puzzle we're talking about. It's actually not that complicated, but... Especially with the extra vision, it's like pretty trivial. But if you like never have to stop, you're pretty much always gonna give you in the same spots. But if you do, it's like a different story. So here's Vega, he's a dark type gym leader. Has three very fast Pokemon, so we're gonna use our X speed on this fight. Even though we're goodbye, we're still slower than all of them. And Lipard is pretty non-threatening to set up on, so. It's a crit.
I'll we'll heal again, just just because. If I get crit by quick attack, I see a world where I die. So Absol's is the AC pretty much always uses detect on the Absol. Just to make you take more residual damage from the uh, the negative emotions. And then Sneasel will pretty much always use Quick Attack afterwards. Double Attack to try it. That's interesting. Fresh game audio. Like turn it off and on. Uh, I don't even know if I honed claws enough. I think I did. Oh, I only hear half the audio now. I gotta heal on this. Going on here. So we're just fighting a grunt in this tunnel. So the next one, I should heal before this fight, actually. So, I mean... These fights are much easier with Goodbye. Gonna have to put claws once. It's like the bulkiest thing here is this coughing, but it still dies. Plus one dual chop. Nice and easy. We, our, our attack is good, our defense is really good. Um, our speed is like good enough that we're gonna outspeed the two folks in this next fight. It is considered a major fight, so I'm gonna be equipping a person berry for that fight, and then I'm gonna get it back afterwards, which is nice. Kind of like how we got the uh, berry juice set back after the rival fight in in the cave. Um, so we, we beat the, the, the boss here, we're gonna get the, uh, the motorcycle. Move quickly. Very nice that as part of the motorcycle, you can skip Bagman up because it is fast enough. As long as you can react quickly enough. One of the, the main upsides of this. We get work up, which is irrelevant. I don't think the bite. I don't think Gibble even learns it. But e even still, we definitely have needed home claws pretty, pretty hard up to this point. So, um, person berry. And 
put on motorcycle and turn on turbo mode. Makes the bike go very fast. So mischievous pretty much always confuse rays until you're not until you're like confused. So we're basically just doing that until he, he's just gonna hit Gru. It's one and three to hit yourself in this game, resembling Gen 7. Maybe I should have healed here because Cadaver can actually do a decent amount of damage if I hit myself. And then the next fight just has a Hound Doom. Um, doesn't quite die to one bulldoze, but we we're gonna be faster after the first one. So it only is gonna get one turn off on us. Assuming we don't get flinched. Very nice. And no need to heal here because we're going to get a chancy heal before we go into our next battle. So, we're looking good here. Unfortunately though, the next fight I'm going to do is potentially the hardest fight in the run. Um, it actually really depends on your defenses, but... With this defense it shouldn't actually be that bad. Uh, we'll see what happens though. We're getting cut here. Um, as I mentioned before, we don't have to teach give the bike cut, but it, it can learn it so we can use it. Um, and so we need it for story progression. He's explaining that mechanism here. That was a horrible reaction. <laughs> uh. That was also a bad reaction. Yeah, sometimes I just like the bagman of these just in case. Because like it's like not not technically free. It's free if you do it well, but A lot of different routes with like just a bunch of optional trainers. I need to repel for now. So we're gonna re repel and um, I don't think I need to equip anything. Save. So, um, the swine, I mean, effectively the problem with this fight is that the swine up now has, um, the swine up from before now has Ice Shard. And it has AI to always use it because, I don't know, it, it just does. It's a four times effective move. Um, so basically there's, there's no X Defend or anything, so you just have to be able to tank an Ice Shard going into it. And only some defenses can do that. Since this Trumbeak has Skill Link, it will always 5 hit with Fury Attack. But 
can comfortably less than half, so all we have to do is we're just gonna heal after after this one. Probably twice. <laughs> The damage rolls on Unbound are a little bit wonky. That's not quite safe. Yeah. The rolls on Unbound are a little bit wonky. So I should be guaranteed to live that. I'm definitely guaranteed to live this. Assuming I don't get crit. Um. Yeah, in essence, the unbound rolls are a little bit funky because you're always supposed to get hit by Ice Shard and roll to four because it's four times super effective. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. So you saw there, I just got rolled for 41, which would have killed me if I had, had not healed the extra time. Um, it's supposed to do 36 to 40 is the damage roll that is calculated, with 48 as the one in 16. But there's there's some issue in the damage calculation that makes that not necessarily true. That was so was a good fight. That was clean. I'm heal before this next fight. That should be fine. I deserve that. I was bound to get hit eventually. Doing stupid passes like that. That's not what I meant to do. Maybe I need it. Maybe there's a, a powerhouse in the back. Gonna be Servine. Uh, that probably dies to Dual Chop. Yeah, didn't need it. Unlucky. It's okay. So, I mean, I, the only. My Super Potion count is depleting quickly, obviously, but I'm gonna get more healing items when I get to the town after the next town. Um, so it doesn't actually need to last all that much longer, so should be good for the most part. I should just do this more often. Slide is great. Both of these mons have sturdy. Um, Boldor, we were not even going to watch anyways, so it doesn't matter, but. So nice and easy. So this is the last fight we have to do with, like, Basically no item. From here we pretty much always have an item that's very useful for goodbye. This is a free pass. And of course he spins right away. Um the next time we're gonna get an EV Elite for Gabite. Which is really, really helpful, considering how free all Gabite is and how hard hitting some of the pokes in this game are. There.
Oh my goodness. Okay, so we enter this next city, we got a Castellia Cone. This is useful in like a lot of spots. It's like kind of the only like catch-all status healing item we're gonna get for a little while. Go in here, get the uh Eviolite. Very good item. In this in in this in previous versions is where we would finally get bulldoze. So doing a lot of that last part without bulldoze is like really, really rough. But we are still gonna go to the TM shop in this version two to get Rock Tomb, which is another very good coverage move for Gabite. I think it's just eight super push super repels here. Yeah. So we're gonna give the Eviolite. Eviolite like saves you a lot here. Not really sure what I would do without it, <laughs> honestly. Get that super potion. Each rock tomb. Next gym's a flying gym. So rock tomb is as powerful as as dual chop is. It is over that, yeah. Super effective. But we need Rock Team for more than just that gym, anyways, so we're gonna teach it now. So, another fun little thing about the, the most recent update is this gym used to be like pretty free. And it still like kind of is. But it's very annoying now because every single Pokemon, the flying type in this gym, is just given Tailwind by default. So I'm no longer faster than a single thing in this gym. And you just kind of have to deal with it. Sometimes the moves they decide to use are very cringe, especially in this fight. This is definitely the worst one. This Oracorio is an absolute menace. Hopefully it picks some good moves. That's a great first start. That's not good. Okay, that's great. We're still minus one. Isn't great. Hopefully we're faster now. Okay, that's good. Probably gonna hopefully free shot this, even at minus two. This can do much less cringe things. It's a lot more favorable of an option to to set up on. This is that's yeah, that's completely fine. So now we should be faster. Cool, perfect. Considering how how bad that fight can go, that was perfectly fine. That Oracorio has Feather Dance, as you saw, has Teeter Dance, has Double Slap, and Whirlwind. So, a lot of potential for cringe there. This fight's pretty easy. Um, well, I mean, you can get paralyzed by Secret Power, but that's about it. Has double team too, we do want to see that. Gonna heal here because the next poke's also gonna get a turn. That's good. Okay, good fight. I guess if there's anything to, to cope about, it's that that optional that I did fight did give a pretty non-trivial amount of experience. It is probably going to matter later. Because the same kind of dash that we did for Gibble, we're going to do for Gabite too. Where is, or uh, Garchomp. Um, 
we're gonna do there too, just because Garchomp's really good. It's not like we're gonna go like super out of our way to fight like a bunch of optionals like we did last time, but like if there is candies anywhere, you know, like different. The goal is to get Garchomp basically. So. You get a massive, massive bulk upgrade, massive offensive upgrade. So yeah, like I said, not a single thing in this gym we have speed. I think plus five, maybe even plus four would be enough here with the extra experience. Two. I'll heal on the next one. We're still like very behind. I did all this like 45 seconds ago.
Welcome back, we're gonna just kill this thing. So, we, we, we defeat the gym leader. He's going to take us to this tunnel and teach us how to use Rock Smash. Which we don't actually have yet, but we're about to get it. And we need it to move on to the next uh, city. So, it's just this guy. We could have gotten it for the gym, but it's just faster to do it now. Gabite learns Rock Smash, so we're able to use it without teaching it. So we're supposed to go up here through the KBT Expressway, but it's actually faster to not do that and take this Staraptor back to Crater Town. And then continue onwards from there. Gonna use a repel before this rock because do I have a repel? I do have a repel. Rock smash encounter. Rock smashing will always give you an encounter in this game if you don't have a repel. So definitely a worthwhile investment. <laughs> So Jax chased off some grunts there, I think. Um, we're gonna have to go chase down the grunts too, like actually to where the hideout is. Um, so we're gonna go to that next row afterwards. Jax just gets the fly there, I guess, but we don't, because we don't have that. Two dozen of those. Oh, oops. To the route. So we're gonna waste some steps here, um, not a lot, but just like a little bit, so we can have it. We're up in a reasonable spot. We get this X attack in front of this guy. I recently learned that there is every single type of X, X item in this tunnel. 
And so... I thus made it my mission to get all the ones that are reasonable to get. It's this here. So, three of the best ones are there. We're gonna go back now. Stand in front of this guy, I'm gonna save. It's gonna be like a little game here. Fun little game. Of will you bonk or will you not? You bonked. Unlucky. So, I would be lying if you said, yeah, you did perfect movement there, but the movement has to be pretty good. Like, maybe like one bonk at most. For you to get the, uh, the prize here. And that's not gonna do it. I'm really good at this game. So, I mean, it says you have to do it in under 15 seconds, but... The prizes he actually gives scale depending on how well under 15 seconds you actually get. I think this should do. So 9 seconds gives you 10 vitamins. Which is, if you if you just gotten um, 15 seconds for example, it would just be 1 and then with 10 seconds, it's 5. So, definitely very worth it. Sells for $49,000. You can get a bunch of X items with that. Uh, so, repel here. I'll heal if I need to. I don't actually... I do need to, okay. I don't actually know if I need to, but I do not know. That was with EVLA, by the way, that damage. Pretty insane. Uh, barely slower than that thing. My current speed. So this time we actually do want to move with Jax, even though we don't get access to the bike for this section. Because if you don't say yes here, you don't get help from him at all in the next couple fights. And you really want his help. Because he has a Star Raptor that hits very hard. this grunt in the front, and then after that we're gonna fight the boss inside both those double battles. Or multi-battles, I guess. So, he has random AI here. Hopefully he decides to uh, close combat eradicate, because that will just kill it. But if not, that's fine. Okay. That is okay. Okay, cool. That was fine.
So now we go inside, like we said, we're gonna fight the bosses of Team Shadow. Again. There's still some randomness to, uh... ...his AI. But usually, at the very least, usually, he picks the right move on the right poke. But the target seems to be a little bit up in the air sometimes. Swagger on Staraptor. So Staraptor will now do a lot of damage if it decides to hit. Confused. CC is good. I think that Incineroar will die to dual chop from here. That is good. Hopefully, Star after snapping soon. Alakazam's pretty dangerous, so we really don't want to give this thing too many turns. That is good. Okay, whatever. It's okay as, well, as long as I hit through, which I don't. That is just not good at all. Oh wow. Should be good from here. Yeah. Mr. Risk will... will die to dual chop. So we're at full HP for the next fight. Normally we would have to, uh... Um put in Ducklet first, because it doesn't actually give you a free heal after this before these warriors. So time to explain what these warriors are. This is the first time we're encountering them. Complete these custom Pokemon, it scales to your level. Um, in this case, it's a double battle. Um, here they don't get any stat buffs. Later on, they will get a speed boost. And they all have very good moves. Dragon Claw. Okay, missed the kill. Do that. Okay, what I've learned from this many times before is I should definitely, you should definitely heal in this situation. Because even if Staraptor finishes it, you lose the experience, and that's bad. And I've been crit here too many times. So you just let the raptor finish, you get the experience, and you happy camper. And that is the Autumn Woods. Get the heal there. And then after this whole section, we have to talk to the uh, gym leader who's just standing out here to trigger him going back to the gym so we can fight him. So this is Mel. Mel's a normal type gym leader. Um, and his gimmick is that every battle in his gym is an inverse battle. So if you don't know how inverse battles work, basically all super effective moves become not very effective. Immunities become super effective, you know, vice versa. Everything's everything's backwards. Um, so obviously, normal types having, you know, pretty neutral coverage are all, all around. 
kind of do well in that environment. Um, so some of his pokes are pretty threatening. The recent update gives Mel a lead with a Helioptile, which as an electric dra or as a ground dragon type is not very good. Um, but bar Helioptile is weak enough to that with the Violate, you barely tank its hit. And all, all, you, all you have to do is give it one turn and then you're you're good. So not necessarily that big of an issue. I will save though. I will also save for this spinner pass coming up. That is very cringe and annoying. If you've ever played Gen 2 or watched Gen 2 speedruns, you know that in, in that game there is a spinner called Skier Douglas. This spinner is a lot like that. You can't really see where they're looking until it's too late, basically. Unfortunately, in this case, there's no manip to see which way they're... I have crashed. Okay. Alright, I am in front of Mel. I'm gonna fight him now. Um, I just saved, so we're gonna we're gonna fight him. Um, so yeah, he has a Helioptile that he's gonna lead with, and since this is an inverse battle, it's gonna do a lot. But we're gonna we're gonna we're faster and we tank it, so not necessarily worried about it. Fireblock charge. Switching out is probably the most common outcome. I don't really know why it does that, but. Now we get Mill Tank, which is much better for us. Unfortunately, it does have Headbutt, which is not great. Both this and the Lopany both have Headbutt. But it's not all that strong, so. Pretty free, pretty free to just heal. that and then Lopany comes out next it is also faster than us so we just have to bulldoze and then we're faster okay and we are good to be here I actually don't know maybe it's possible that Helioptile is quick attack. I've never actually gone for it before, so let's just not even <laughs> try. So that is the fourth gym down. So, um, Mel is the fourth gym, and then the fifth gym is the electric gym. We're not actually going to fight that gym for like an hour, at least. There's a lot of different plot points that come before that, involving the evil teams and whatnot. So now we're going to go right to Epitome Town. Um, strength is there, and then also the bad guys are there, and they're doing bad things, so we gotta take them down.
is where strength is. I sound like a broken record at this point, but you know, goodbye can learn strength, so we can use it. No need to teach it or anything. I don't think I'm repelled up, so I want to use that before I get an encounter. So believe it or not, this is actually the first trainer in the game. This was the uh, the guy with the ink in the very first fight in the game. And he's since, since trained since then a little bit. It's actually not all that relevant, but he did. That's really cringe, I've never seen that before. Not all that dangerous, but I'm just I'm just hoping it's gonna die. I think it will. Okay. So one of the options we set what feels like years ago at this point, at the very start of the game, was um, puzzle difficulty. Um, you get to choose, like, kind of how hard the puzzles are in the game. So in previous versions, that didn't exist, so you would just always get the hardest puzzles. Um, as someone who's done both of the puzzles for the next section, um, it's a lot faster when you're on easy. There's, like, there's gonna be, like, eight different boulders coming up. And we have to push, like, each of them once, basically, instead of, like, an actual challenge. Sorry, not here, on the next floor. Here, take it, why not? There is a spinner we have to pass here, but it's unlike how it would have been, it's not actually that like scary of a pass. Kinda just do that. to it. This trainer is newly mandatory. It's not used to be in the way. So we have to fight him. This Wubat has unaware, so we can't one-shot it even with setup, but we're gonna set up anyways. Other things want set up. That was a good roll, wow. You just should not do that much damage, really. I guess I will take the opportunity. This walker has a huge vision. Oh, well, there you go. So even if he was, like, really far away, still would have seen you.
That's so bad. Okay. So luckily there's a, a chance to heal right here. So. Not the end of the world. And I can draw Propel as soon as I want to because you can't actually get encounters here. I just did not go to there, but okay. God. So, random AI there. Icy Wind does not always happen. Fortunately, we got it. Use the opportunity to heal for uh, the Gengar afterwards, which is nice. speed and we kill it all right so after this we have one of the wonkiest fights in the run i'd say the ai i, I tested this fight a lot the ai is proven to be very unpredictable so we'll see how it goes assuming i don't have any more for that guy hopefully it doesn't happen now it will that i said that but Didn't need my words. <laughs> um, so we're gonna heal. Uh, I'm definitely gonna save. Um, I mean, I can probably figure my way out of it, depending on what actually happens here. But would like to have the save just in case, because things can definitely happen. Okay, so, for, for whatever reason, so Marlin here is the leader of Team Shadow. He leads the Zapdos. Um, for whatever reason, as soon as he gets to minus one speed and is not super low HP, like 25% or lower, he will just switch out. So we're going to use that to our advantage if everything goes according to plan. Because the... The Crocodile afterwards is very threatening. As foul play. And Swagger, which does a lot of damage. We're going to Rock Tomb. Hope to not do, like, too much. That might be too much. Yeah. Well, 
That's not great. There's the crocodile. So now because we didn't get the bulldoze off, we're gonna have to hit through Swagger. Yeah, that's just a lot. This is like not looking great. Yeah, if, unfortunately, like, just how it is, if you get Swagger and you hit yourself at all on that Crocodile, you just lose. Because it will just foul play and just kill you from from full. That's not what you're supposed to do. So we'll just set up once this time. And see if that gives us a better out. The issue is this is this might not kill. Yeah, okay, I just don't understand. Well, I guess now I can home pause again. Problem is now is that I will get hit by intimidate. And bad things may happen. Finally decides to switch out. Always on the worst turns. So we're in the same spot again. We just have to hit through. Multiple times. It's just... Really, really, really stupid. Not only that I can't hit through confusion is just not performing how it's supposed to. Just doesn't make any sense. do it. When I tell you this happened every single time in practice, I mean every single time. I'm just gonna bite the bullet. I think I'm just dead, honestly. I think it's just killed me with dual shot or uh, foul play. <laughs> the extra experience is actually proving to be very bad here. Very, very, very bad.
Just doesn't make any sense. Now I'm gonna heal and he's gonna do it. Nope, okay. Cool. Hmm. I just can't cacturn. Hello? Does nothing. Um, I'm just dead to foul play. This fight is just ridiculous. Swaggers. It just doesn't matter though. We'll see what happens here. That's definitely a range. Oh my goodness. I guess to be fair, I, te I did test this before I added in guard spec. So I guess somehow it knows when you have guard spec. It doesn't switch. That is just... So crazy. I'm just gonna lose, I think. He does switch now. Uh, that's really unfortunate that it works like that, though. I'm still in the same spot. I guess for now I'll just like Alex defends. I need that for a later fight, but we're just gonna figure it out.
ancient power. Okay. So now this kills. Awesome. There we go. That's all it took. I'd like to not have to use the uh, person if I can. This is like not really that threatening. I'm basically snapping this turn, so should be good. A little bit of rust. <laughs> um, so we're gonna... I don't know how low I am with smooth milk. Finally gonna move on. <laughs> So we have fly, but we're not actually, we don't have access to um, the new city yet, so we can't fly to the city. We, we could have gone there before we went to the, the mountain. It was accessible to us, but since there's really no benefit of going there early, we just, we just don't. We're going to go there now, use strength. You just need uh, Mel's badge to use strength. So as long as you've beaten Mel, you can you can go there. Spinner up here, we gotta pass. Oh, I totally just went into this fight and didn't save, okay. Well, that's not good. <laughs> well, we're probably gonna die. Um, Starmate's love isn't all that dangerous. Like, there's only so many things I can do. It's 
Probably about as bad as it gets for Starmie. I'm on dual chop for some reason. It's plus two. Um, fortunately, I can't even bulldoze here. I'm gonna have to take two hits. Oh, okay, okay, this is great. So I tank, I may actually tank an Ice Shard here, which would be great. Hopefully it just doesn't use it though. One time lucky ever. Don't be ridiculous. That roll should have been... Yeah, that was absolutely a range to kill me. For sure. Yeah. I mean, this is arguably the worst fight in the mansion. There are a lot of bad fights in here, though. Bulldozing turn one, or at, at some point, just gives you a, a better chance to live Weavile. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is all fine. In terms of win rate, that is. Wow, my, my healing count is just so low. I've never had to heal so many times in a run. This is fine too, it just means I'm gonna have to set up more. As long as I'm faster than Starmie. Um. And not really a use in healing here. One and four is to use Ice Shard, the only move that kills you. Keep happening. Nothing you can do about it, like... Even if, even if I wanted to X-Defend in this fight, like... There's just not enough X-Defend in the run to be able to... Justify using one here. Can't really afford to yell. That's fine. Okay.
Yeah, I'm just not gonna tank. In theory, it should be a range to kill me. A uh, really bad range to kill me. But because the damage calcs in this, range, in this game are just all wrong. Like, how is that doing 71? How is that a possibility? It's kind of weird that it like never rolls a multiple of four. It's always like not a multiple of four. Okay. Anyways, we're through. So we're 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 chilling for a little while now. Most of these fights are pretty easy. For once. Double strength is great. I may actually outspeed this primate given how many extra levels I've gotten. No, not quite. I think I'm actually going to go down and take the Chansey again. I wouldn't normally do this, but just because like I have an unbelievable low amount of heals. Like, not even close to anything I've ever had before. I'm gonna... gonna take it. I, there's, there's a Chansey up here too. I need, I need this to last until... after this mansion and then after the rival fight. And I expect the rival fight to also go worse because I don't have the X defend that I'm supposed to have. So, with this defense, it shouldn't be a problem, but, um, again, some more stupid wonky things can happen, so. Same kind of thing here. Rock Tomb doesn't kill while burned, but... Pretty valuable to be faster when you want to attack. Confuse right here would be cool. It's actually not that big of a deal if it doesn't. That's ideal. That's fine. Altaria has a hob on Barry, which reduces super effective dragon moves, but it only works for the first hit, so we still end up killing. Uh, that If you give that a turn, it's actually pretty dangerous, but you don't have to, so fine. This will now live. That's a good crit. You don't really have to heal for this fight ever. I'm just gonna super potion. This fight is pretty tame. And there's, a, there's another chance to heal after this hallway. Yeah, worst thing this can do is sleep powder, I think. And that's not really affecting your win rate. Nice and easy. So there's it's a little bit of an interesting section here. In past versions of the game, I know I keep saying this, but um, there's like two trainers up ahead, 
Before, only one of them was mandatory. Now, both of them are if you just walk through. Um, the fight as a double battle is pretty bad, actually. You can't really... Um, like, you, like, you get hit faster than you, like, actually can do damage. So it's just better to, at least for consistency's sake, to just fight them as singles. So we're setting up a lot here, not only because Quagsire takes a lot to die, um, but because Pylos winds afterwards and has ice moves and you don't want to give that a turn. I don't think it has ice shard, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have ice shard. But I think it has ice fang and or icy wind, both of which are not good. And then after the double play, we can feel free to um, take the chancy again, which I'm probably going to need to, given my heal situation. This next fight's free. I'll heal before... Actually, I'll just heal now, just because it's a pretty good time to be using the candy as well. Yeah, I have one Moo, Moo Milk. I don't think I can get by with that. Actually, I have a Hyper too, so maybe I can get by with those two combined. And these down here. Another new mandatory fight. This was not mandatory before. This game used to be a lot less cringe, I promise. Thankfully this one's heat proof. I'm actually kind of worried about my money situation. I'll, I'll just get this, this zinc. <laughs> I have wiped so many times. So let's just not take any, any chances here. Yeah, these fights are pretty tame as individual fights. I think, Arcanine, I, I think at this level Arcanine is probably going to die. The most this can do is retaliate. It also has extreme speed, but... Okay, that was a good roll. That's just... Uh, unreal. I, I can't even heal that off. I just used my Castilla Cone. Oh, I have a Ross Berry. Okay, okay, okay. Um, This fight, again, it's hard to imagine I'm going to make it out of here with, with my Hyper intact, but we'll see. If I'm going to have to buy more healing items, I'm going to have to get a lot more money items to compensate. Hopefully we can not get too cringed on. Uh... I think I take Seed Bomb here. I 
It is close. Okay, perfect. Oh my goodness. So we're getting Dragon Claw way earlier than we should. We have a lot of extra experience. So I still have my Hyper, which is good. Uh, let's dodge this guy. Go get our heal again. Move on. Okay, next fight is pretty bad. Probably the second worst after the Weavile, but it's actually pretty tame than compared to what it used to be without the new found X items. Vanillish has Icicle Spear. You take a decent amount of time, but you really don't even want to see it at all. Especially with my heal situation. Hopefully it will just uproar, and then we're, we're smooth sailing. But why would it do that? Uh... I'm fine, I think. Yeah, let's go get the heal again. Are gonna make it out of this? Yeah. So silly. Okay, so, I'm gonna go down, open the door, the last fight in this mansion is right here, I'm gonna go right by, open this door, go get myself another chance to heal. I don't know that I can actually do this fight without another healing item, so we'll just get this, I know there's a hyper up here if I can dodge this, this walker. Oh god, okay. That is scary. Go get the Chansey. Which one's the Carbos? I want that too. I want the, the money. Because I, I, I think I'm pretty much guaranteed to also need to...
to get another healing item before rival. So the lead of Wigglytuff, it pretty much always will switch out in my experience. To Delphox, which does, I think, slightly more damage, not by much. Two. Three. We'll go off that. Do the rest of the setup on Empoleon, because Empoleon has swagger. And I don't want to have to use as many X or as many uh, heals. I'm getting Brian here. I'm anticipating I'm just gonna heal, get Brian, Cone Claws, Swagger to plus six, heal it off. I'm good. Yep, okay. Should be a victory. Okay. Almost spoke too soon. This fight used to be next to impossible on previous versions because the lead was instead Azumarill with huge power and play rough, and it did not switch out. So, I did have to use the, the heal, so I, hard to imagine I can get away with not having to get another one, so I will make a quick, quick stop before the fight and get like two hypers, and that should be enough. I mean, I guess I can get, I can get more, because I have the money too. But... The chancy before I go. That's not where you're supposed to go. I've I can't buy them. Oh my goodness. Um... Moomoos will do. We'll, we'll go, get, go get a dozen of those. Sure. I love time loss. I don't want any more moo milk. No thanks. Uh, okay. Cool. I'm gonna save. I don't know how this is gonna go. Because I, I'm not worried about the defensive rolls, because there are some defensive rolls. My defense is good. My HP is good, but there also is some weird switch AI that I recently discovered. Hopefully we don't have to deal with that. Same deal as the other rival fights, the uh, Pylos wine has Ice Shard.
Hopefully I can tank three of these. 45, yeah. Should be good. Okay. We only die to a crit ice shard. Should be okay. Yeah, me. We even tank Vaporeon's quick attack too, so we don't have to heal. So that was a good fight. Could have gone seeing the feeling worse. Um, is there value in healing here? I think you get healed before you have to fight another uh Trainer, so not worried about it. Uh, up, 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 up. Tax items finally. So yeah, they're they're very late in the game, unfortunately, so not much you can actually do before that besides just pray. I'll try and buy a little bit less um pipers. Buy a little bit less super repels. I really want to be mindful of how many, uh, how much money I have. That should do. Oh, I don't, I don't want any revives. Um, need some full heals. Yeah, I should, I should be fine on money. I totally did not need to sell that guard spec. I could have used it. Oh well. That's okay. But buy a lot of X attacks. Oh yeah, way too much. Conserved a little too much there. It's okay though. If I need more, I'll get more. So, um, there's an extra candy here in this town. I might actually just go get it. Just because maybe I can get Garchomp early or something. That's the Go Goggles. I don't want that yet. Once. I'll get you while I'm here. This is our Pokemon that learned Waterfall. This Dick Ducklet does not. And let's go get ourselves a rare candy. And move on. Also, we're not actually going to gamble. You get taken to a portal, you know, as you do. A super repel. 
go solve some puzzles. I love puzzles. Anyone else like puzzles? Very, very simple. Almost, almost too simple, but feels like an actual puzzle soon enough. That's not where you're supposed to go. That's where you're supposed to go. Kind of. Yeah, I'm not gonna quite get um, Garchomp before the three legendary dogs, but I'm so close. That's that's really annoying. That may survive. I don't think so, though. Good. All these, like, wild things have completely random stats. So the damage rolls on them are random. Yeah, this section's pretty brutal. There's, like, a lot of, like, legendaries you're gonna have to fight. But now we get to solve a puzzle, like an actual jigsaw puzzle. Incredible. Uh, you're here. That's a decent amount that are already in the right spot. Uh, I flip these. Unlucky. Yeah, I'll just play it as normal. Um... Even though, I, I will save before. It's so annoying that I'm like just short. I almost want to just like kill an encounter. But I don't think that's quite what I want to do here. Saved here just as a precaution. I actually don't know if I'm healed or not. Hope I am. Even if I'm not, the first two of these uh, dogs are not actually that threatening. It's just the, the Suicune is the problem here. So we can't catch any of these, we have to kill them. There's a lot more where these legendaries came from within this game. I throw a lot at you. Oh my goodness, that is not good. Would have preferred that not happen. This is Stomping Tantrum. I recently routed this out because Bulldoze will prove very important for some later fights. And it's too, it's just kind of too valuable. So even though it's higher power, um, I can move over there. Wow, I actually did a lot of damage. I want to be as high as possible going into. Suicune. 107 is as good as it gets, really. Okay, well, I'm gonna have 
Garchomp for the next set of legendaries, which is pretty good. Aurora Beam turn one. That is not great. That did a pretty massive amount of damage too. I'm gonna Spadef again. I'm expecting Calm Mind here, yeah, okay. I don't know if this ends well. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm slower too? Oh no. This probably is just a loss. I think I rolled a very unlucky. Weekend. I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> yeah. It's such a shame that I'm, I'm just short of Fire Chomp here. Solid roll, that's gonna die. That's good. Actually, like switch out and heal, like now. No, don't do that. Yeah, sure. I don't have anything else. Uh, yeah, move looks gonna do. Literally anything with an ice type move is just like so laughably stupid. Faster, please, please, please. Yes, okay, good. Well, it's not actually gonna matter in this case. Because I put it into heal range. Doing such a stupid amount of damage. It also can bubble beam, by the way.
I think from here I just Dragon Claw, and then I will revive and come back. I should win. Yeah, usually this fight isn't actually that bad. My Spadef is not very good at all. Get Garchomp, finally. Um, so, I mean, having it this early is gonna help a little bit for, um, the Lugia. Having Crunch is gonna do quite a bit more than the moves we would have had with Goodbye. Also, Garchomp's is way better. Almost kills. I anticipate that plus two crunch is going to kill. This does have Recover, so I want to be a little mindful of that. I am slower, which isn't great. Uh, that's not great either. Okay, that's fine then. All good. And we get TP'd to this very interesting location. It's a make our way out. It's like the Matrix or something.
again, we're we're lacking context here, but um, yeah, I don't know. This team's good though. Good theme. will not die. Hopefully we don't get wrecked. Maybe like Swift or something. That works too. So this grunt goes down to warn the others, and we're going to get in a double battle. Again, since we're missing a lot of context here, we missed a lot of the lore. Um, Marlin's good now, and uh, we're kind of fighting like the second gym leader or something. Uh, he's like bad. So yeah, there you go. So, um, gonna X attack. There's like a couple things that are maybe not gonna die here. Crocodile can do some decent damage. It has a lot of inaccurate, powerful moves. Protect, I have never seen. Um, but that is like fine. I think Bulldoze will kill both of these. Yeah. This is going to be a little bit interesting. Is it Sylveon next? Or Bombi? Hmm. Let's do this. I mean, <laughs> we're going to just die, yeah? It has Stone Edge and Iron Tail. So typically this fight looks a lot different. Oh, that is not good. Um... Hopefully Cacturn will be something useful. That's not particularly useful. I mean, I guess I can bulldoze these when I have the HP to do so. doing Okay, still be on damage. That's really good. That's a range. Quit berry juice. We don't actually. We obviously don't need the EVLA anymore. Um, I recently wrote it. Like I said, I recently wrote it. Um, bulldozer for stomping tantrum for this route. Um, Groudon was one of the biggest problems without stomping tantrum because now bulldoze takes three hits to kill this. Um. You don't always tank two earthquakes, so berry juice is there to help that out. Okay, 
so now we win. Cool. There's a funny little bug here, I wonder if it's going to trigger here, where sometimes the, uh, the escape rope just doesn't work. I guess we'll see if we see that happen. Okay, it worked this time. Sometimes you'll just use it and like it will... It will go back to the overworld, but like nothing will happen. And I think that's pretty funny. Yeah, berry juice is an item that heals 20 HP when you go below 50%. So it's very useful, especially in the early game. But I saved it for the specific moment. So we're dressed up as Marlin right now. Um, I'm not really sure why Marlin doesn't have his clothes on, but um, certainly benefits us so we can actually go into the space without being detected. Because I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm sure no one was paying attention, nobody, nobody cares about the lore, but um, what uh, Marlin, Marlin, Marlin just said, like as I was, as I had just beaten the grout on, is that um, he told you not to follow him to this base. And then we, we do that anyways, so. This is like our way in. So we're gonna get to the bottom here, and then we're gonna fight Zeph, who's like the head boss. We fought him a few times already. Uh, he's the head boss of Team Shadow. Um, and they're like trying to battle Team Light of Ruin over like some some things. Couldn't tell you what. Um, all I know is we gotta battle him. He's a Mega Gengar. It's actually not all that dangerous, but. Especially now, his his lead is just Mighty Anna, does next to nothing. This fight really is just a gimme. Wish we could we could use some of those. And involving into Mega Gengar just to use Sucker Punch. Oh great, the berry juice. Okay, so we're done with this. We're finally done with all the the evil team fluff for a little while. So we're finally gonna go fight a gym after after all this is smoothed over. And it is the electric gym, which you'd think you would think this would be like the easiest gym by a mile. Like finally we get like a break or whatever, right? And it was like that for the previous versions, which. It was like years worth of this game. 
but they recently added a gimmick to the new version. They didn't really have a gimmick before, like the other gyms did. And their gimmick is that all Electric-type Pokémon in the gym have Magnet Rise. So you cannot use a single Ground-type move throughout the entire gym. That's not where you're supposed to go. So... So while it's nice to be immune to Electric-type moves, it really, really does not help. Especially since... the Ace has Ice Fang on the fights. Could be very threatening. Good crit. I like it. So this gym, I mean, if you haven't already t uh, seen the resemblance, very similar in design to Byron's gym and Diamond Pro Platinum. While the puzzles aren't really like the same, it certainly looks similar. It's actually a lot more tedious than, than that gym. There's like a lot of bulbs you gotta light up and then you have to unlight one of them. Pretty annoying. Static is unfortunate, but we were probably gonna be slower than this next poke anyways. Just be a good excuse to heal though. How many full heal- I mean, I don't know if I even have any full, uh, parry heals. Up. Got past a spinner. No, don't do that. I did it anyways. <laughs> Not like I would have had to fight him again or anything. Just... I had to go up and down the teleporter. <laughs> At least the, the uh, silver lining for this fight is I... Even if they weren't levitating, this fight would be the same amount of turns anyways. Because Bronzong would not die. This one has Levitate. Make sure not to go down that. That 
slider, it sends you straight to an optional. I gotta pass this guy again. Unlight up the bulb I just lit up. And then go back the way we came and then we're done. Feels like we should be at the gym leader by now, but there's still a little bit left even after we've gotten gotten there. This was recently added in as well. This extra bit. To unlock the gym leader's door. A lot of crunches, I think there's a decent amount of chance I get. Well, I think the only thing that actually has static is the Voltorb. There aren't going to be any static chances on the fight itself, thankfully. So Galavant a force double battle. Thankfully we benefit from the guard spec on our turn anyways. This is the first time I'm doing it with with Piplup early. I'm wondering how that's gonna affect it. I mean I guess if anything it gives me an extra turn to heal. that comes in super handy. wonder if there's a chance that Minetric just targets Pip Luff out, right? That'd be cool. Unlucky. Okay, cool. We win. Electros has Dragon Claw. I still have the Berry Juice, nice. Cool. Actually not negligible this time. I am not confident that I would tank a, uh, a Steamroller there, so I will heal. I still have the Guard Spec up, so... Not like... Magneton's gonna have a chance to lower my accuracy here. So we should be pretty good here.
All right, cool. Good fight. Uh, Pipop's still evolving. We'll let him evolve, why not? It's his lucky day. I regret this already. So now we're gonna get another yet another reused item from other Pokemon games. The Go Goggles. And we're gonna go into the Great Desert. He only gives them to you after you beat Galvin, so. You gotta. Gotta wait. And this is when you would normally get the Piplup. Revive a poke just in case I die, even though like I should be pretty good. Um, what am I looking for? Repels. Good for me. Sand Slash. Three Dragon Claw. Oh. Um, okay. Just be a bit cautious of that. Oh, I, oh, I have the I have either for that. We're good. I guess I can just candy now. Ether and candy now. Maybe not hit any more optionals, please. Thanks. My cactus hurts a lot. I'll do it in a bag minute, I guess. Uh, you. And I want to be fully speed for the Shadow Warriors. Uh, don't go too far. And then up here. Alright, cool. So, the biggest reason why I'm keeping Bulldoze now is because the Shadow Warriors have proven to be quite an issue. So they get... They're two levels lower than you always. They scale to you. Um, but the biggest problem is they, they always get plus one speed, and they have Dragon Claw. You can sometimes take two, but not always, and you can sometimes be faster here, but not always. I think my 
berry juice has finally gone away. <laughs> that's a pretty unimaginative name, honestly. Uh, that's funny. This is a range. Hopefully we get it. Oh, okay. Not gonna happen. No spirit break at least, that's good. I... Uh, yeah. So we're now going to have to go find the letters to unlock the passcode. I'm going to do this one first, you have to battle like four different Shadow Warriors. Um, because when you beat the Shadow Warrior, the Light of Ruin run behind will give you free heals whenever you ask for them. So pretty nice to have in your, in your back pocket. Hopefully I'm faster than this one. That's good. Okay. Yeah, before the before my strategy was Rock Tomb plus Dragon Claw, which is like the same kind of principle, but also Rock Tomb plus Dragon Claw was a very bad range to kill. Yay. You can go get the letters in any order. Um, there's like pretty much runs everywhere. This is the order I'm gonna choose to do today. Moonblast isn't great, um, but it's okay. I can take the free heal again on the way out. I have to backtrack the way I came. I'll just kind of work so. Yeah, sometimes there's a couple instances of this where the Grunt will up to fight you right after you fight the Shadow Warrior and doesn't give you time to heal. But, I mean, 
the lead to flow at here, it's like not all that dangerous. So we can just we can just heal turn one. Oh, good crit. Pretty nice. So I gotta heal again. For the next warrior. You have to be full HP for every single warrior. Just kinda how it is. You need every HP you can get. I pretty much fought them all. I think I maybe only have one more after this one. Yeah, Tucker, yeah. Yeah, pretty standard roll. Faster this time is nice. Depending on the fight, you don't necessarily have to heal always if you can dodge the second hit from the warrior. I think this one is this fight. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, bottom. Bottom right teleporter, okay, I see. So it's just this warrior, and then the grunt, and then I'm done. I can go fight Aklov, the Light of Ruin boss. See, in this instance, I don't- I, I shouldn't have to heal. This is just Floet. I don't see a world where Dazzling Gleam kills me from here. So we're just gonna go take the free heal the one last time. And then we're gonna go... Go fight the battle. Uh, don't touch the flames. If you touch the flames, they burn you. Like, they burn your Pokemon. <laughs> So that's not great.
pretty much always loot seed and it protects. That's kind of all it does. Pretty tame fight. Togekiss can be a range sometimes we're massively under we're massively over leveled, so that's not gonna be today. Hey, did you want more features from other games? Guess what? Something crazy is about to happen. Whoa, it's a portal. Whoa, we're in the distortion world. Oh my god. Incredible. I should have reviewed that. Oh well. Again, on uh, easy difficulty, a lot of the puzzles get obsoleted. This is not the way I'm supposed to be going. Um, it's up here. Now I go down. Nope. Now I go down. Okay. This is the only puzzle you have to do, unlike how it was before. Uh. Three, four. I haven't been here in a long time. Bits and pieces missing. That's basically it for the distortion world. There used to be like five or six different puzzles. And it would take forever, but now it's just the one. So obviously we're in the distortion world, we're gonna get Garantina. Garantina, sorry. Made you cringe, I'm sure. Um, but we don't actually get the chance to catch it, of course, because why would that happen? So we just have to kill it. Not actually at any risk of dying, we're pretty much always faster. About an hour, I thought he's from here. A little bit more than an hour.
Oh, yeah, you have to do a thing in the next... the town above first. Forgot about that. I totally didn't need to heal that. You gotta go into this town for like two seconds. Yeah. Roughly Tahis. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Oh, look, it's the Devon scope. Wow, incredible. So that's a gym leader. That's, that's Big Mo. Fighting type. Oh my god. Holy shit. I should have been hit by her like three times. I am in. Dumbass. I thought he was in the, the patch above. I was very confused. I was like waiting for him. God damn it. He's got four. I'm almost legitimately at the point where I can get Earthquake before I get the TM. I'm like very high level. Rock climb, we can use that after we beat Big Mo. We're gonna come back here and climb right and cross afterwards. For now, we gotta continue downwards. Hopefully, I don't hit another optional. <laughs> That's gotta be the dumbest one I've ever hit. At least PP doesn't matter, because I'm going to get healed. Hand sham. Bro could not find a dark type. I was so close to... gimmick here is you can only have one Pokemon in your party. Which is not really an issue for us. But we will need them later for obvious reasons. The Sawkins Ice Punch is like kind of the only threatening thing in this gym. 
freeze is really bad. Okay. That's fine. Black belt, hacka wacka wack. Yeah, another downside of Bulldoze coming up is next trainer has an M Bor. It is a unfavorable range with Bulldoze. With this extra experience, though, I expect it to die. Could be at worst, like fourteen and sixteen. two to three extra levels at this point. Yeah, so that's really the only gimmick is you could have the battle with one poke. He doesn't, though, because he's cheating. The only thing that can really happen in this fight is uh, Kariyama can use Endure. That's like kind of it. Just extends the fight by one turn. I guess that can bullet punch too. Cool. Or maybe I, maybe I'm a fake out. I don't know. I do know the gimmick used to be endure plus reversal, so like literally everything used to endure. So we're gonna go get two things. We have access to Rock Climb now, and there's... No, I mean, aside from just the main story progression, we need Rock Climb. There's like two like optional things that we're now gonna go get. Goddamn. <laughs> Oops. So we're going to go to Frozen Heights, literally the first area in the game. And we're going to go... This item... up here. Little old item called the Lucky Egg. Um... And then Dehara, yeah. And we're gonna go get Earthquake. Much better move, especially for this section of the game.
Um, there's gonna be- we're not there yet, but uh, after the next gym leader, we're gonna get into a section where there's a bunch of Team Blade of Ruin grunts, and they all come in pairs, and we're partnered with a two cannon also, so. Literally just made for Earthquake. Uh, Garoon, yeah. Please don't hit this trainer. I'll even do that. But we're gonna go this way. Trainer somewhere here, and there's another trainer somewhere here. Okay, not so bad. So we're gonna go straight to the next gym. Pretty much no delay. Most of the cutscene bits uh, just get cut out. Alright, so I think this gym has the most interesting gimmick. It's that... Um, so, so the type of your Pokémon is determined by the types of the two moves in your slot 1 and 2 of your moveset. And you can't change the mid-battle. And so it's going to announce them at the start of the fight. And so like you can kind of change your strategy a lot around that. Also, the water cycles are like kind of precise. Uh, yeah, I kind of deserve that. There's a spinner on that island, which is kind of cruel, I feel. I mean, I guess you can just wait for him to... ...do that. You can kind of surf as slow as you want. Yeah, okay. Nice and easy if you take your time. This is the water gym, obviously. Um, pretty non-threatening. Uh, when you are dragging ground... I tried dragging dark before, because I figured it would help defensively a bit more. Um, this toxic effect just can't hit you for anything. And also the stab and earthquake's pretty valuable. So now we just win.
Okay, so now we're gonna actually use the water poly gem to do the final evil team grunt section of the game. Yes, evil team. So, oh, so uh, you can bike through this. Uh, that's the worst optional in the game right there. Don't hit her. The trainer is somewhere here. And you can see you through the grass, okay. First easy fight with a rival. Um, Memo Swine, I think Memo Swine does lose Ice Shard. The specific one, that is. Which is really nice, because it never seems to use it. So this fight is now just over. <laughs> He now has Mega Titar, but it's just like not a problem at all. <laughs> Now we do a long double section with face. somewhere okay I figured that's where she was but wasn't sure Kind of just a lot of of that. It's the only one where we don't actually X attack, but I'm 
No, not there. Down here. Wait, is it? Am I stupid? I think I'm stupid. But yeah, I think I'm just dumb. These two are kind, the I set up. I think Parbank's usually pretty harmless. Moonblast. Okay, that'll do. Well, may get a turn. We'll see what Ducanon does. She was pretty close to killing. Okay, nice. Good stuff. Five, 158, okay. I really thought I was going to speed the Mega Alakazam. That was very silly of me. Yeah, Mega Alakazam is kind of a freak. Insane power slash speed. It's like one of the only fights in the entire game I'm going to X speed for. As Garchomp, I guess. Maybe the asterisk there? These guys scale to you. Um, I want to see how I do by it. How much damage I do by itself. That is crazy.
Alright, no problem. With a little problem, I guess. Wait, play it. So yeah, the ace here is Mega Alakazam, it packs a major punch, and you're not faster, so I have two X speeds, I'm going to be using one of them here. This fight pretty much always goes the same way, so nothing really to worry about here. Yep, pretty insane. It's like one more, yeah, one more double I have to do. And then there's a couple fights at the top. This fight's actually like potentially kind of dangerous if things don't go your way. Like Toucan has to cooperate a little bit. You gotta break Mimikyu's disguise over two turns. Ooh, that's really good. Oh, well, that's not as great. That sucks. Also sucks. Totally me almost was gonna get a turn there, but makes sense why I didn't, and uh not gonna tank that ever. That's fine. Do I have to is Earthquake gonna kill now? This guy's not a trainer. Um, it's just like if you see if he sees you, he just like will bring you back. The objective here is to to push the boulder in front of him. You can't really do anything else. I wanted to pause on my pokes here. Oh, I see. Yes, yes, yes. I see why that would happen.
That's a good miss. You're not like actually in anything anything to do there, but I could take this like just for fun, but like that's that seems just like time loss. Just ima just imagine I have a hoopa. But I didn't want it. Um, so basically what would happen there is, um, I deposited my pokes because if you don't deposit your pokes, that becomes a double battle with Koopa and Mega Rayquaza. Um, and Mega Rayquaza is a major problem for Garchomp. That's a very good start. To this fight. Just Earthquake times two and I win. There was a point very early on in the Unbound routing where I was taking the Hoopa and using it um, in the Elite Four. Because I didn't know then that um, you could skip the four being double battles if you only had one Pokemon in your party. It just become single battles. But I was using some weird strats with Hoopa. I have Earthquake or Outrage way too early. So insanely early. Do I fight Ace at all up here? I don't think so, right? I think it's just Marlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is EQ gonna kill Dusk Noir? That's my question. I feel like it won't. Maybe it would though, that'd be hype. Good track.
Hopefully I can like kinda remember where I am. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. And then in here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A rough trainer. It's like not a lot of places to go through there. Up here. And the last gimmick is the evolution. So it's like kind of based on this, this, the gym leader here is Benjamin. It's based on like the curious case of Benjamin Button, where like all the Pokemon will devolve when they are killed, including my own. That's pretty cool though. Oh man, <laughs> I guess this is all it has. Yeah, you get free healed after every fight here, so it's like not really too much risk. Gotta remember to press the buttons after each one. Your partner's Pokemons are like actually like they're all like really strong. Final Gambits. Huh. I haven't seen Final Gambit from Excelgor before, I think. That is really not great. Um I think we're gonna outrage. And they're simply all going to perish. Oh my goodness. Okay, easy. Wait, what? What? Okay. Do I lose my confusion at least? Okay, cool. I'm down. That's what happens when you die. You just evolve. Pretty cool mechanic, honestly. I understand why they don't... Like, you can't get experience in here at all. There has to be, like, a lot of stipulations with, with this kind of thing, which I understand. So many two turn outrages.
Very unique to have a bug gym as the last jam, I will say that. I think I think it kinda works. So they, they pick a pretty good team, I'd say, for like the actual gym fight. No, that's not good. Okay, at least it wasn't Scizor. I'm gonna have to... Yeah. Heal HP and then... Confusion. I don't have any four stores. Butterfree's not all that threatening, so. Would be even less threatening if I decided to attack it once. Actually, not tank bullet punch from here. <laughs> In which case, that would suck. Okay, cool. Okay, easy. Good stuff. Let me. Leave this fight, he becomes an infant. That's kind of cool. It's like almost a bug if you think about it. Don't think too hard though. And now we're going to go to the Pokemon League, finally. Like, almost done. Kind of. I need to not hit optionals. That'd be good. I just failed my mission. Why does it get confused at the end of the battle? That's so pointless. I just turned. It just turned to morning because I just hit 4 a.m. on my real time clock. Nice. Great. Buffalant may die to, to Outrage. Worth the, worth the shot, I guess. It's dead.
can go to the bottom here with this guy. So those spinners that I was talking about that are like almost Douglas spinners, those are kind of come up soon. Hopefully I don't hit any of those. It's pretty straightforward. Just kind of react to them. used to be a lot trickier. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to get off this, that's what I want. There we go. It's like a little cringe, but got through it. Got to hug the, the left side coming out here. There's, there's a lot involved in this victory road. There's like that giant heads mage I just did. It definitely takes a lot of inspiration from uh, Black and White 2, for the most part. That's where most of it comes from. And then there's a giant ice puzzle at the end, after everything. So there's these two trainers, and then there's two more later, and they're actually both pretty threatening. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let our pokes die here. The slaves. HM buddies. So that we can make the next two fights afterwards not a double battle. Go up the. Oh, you go up here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's 
Same as black and white too. I will heal before this fight. Because it scares me. You're so right, Ananen. What were they thinking? So there's a giant ice puzzle coming up where I'm going to be looking at nothing but my notes. Exact inputs. Up. Left. Up. Right. Down. I feel like I messed up. Yeah, I definitely have. Uh, please send me back to the beginning. Please. Oh, thank god, okay. The leftmost tile of the stairs, it all makes sense now. I shouldn't need these, but... This fight is pretty straightforward. Um, there used to be random order in these pokes, but I'm pretty sure they've stabilized the order, I think. Should always be Mega Sceptile second. Yeah. So you just Dragon Claw this and then Outrage the next two. good.
I'll go to Mole Man next. And then I'll save for the next... The next two. Elias and Arabelle are kind of cringe. This is the ground type gym leader. There's no gimmick here. There was one in the dragon type one. It was like kind of not important for the fight. But I didn't even mention it. But this one is just Sandstorm. Should be Flygon second, I think. Elias seems like the most threatening. We'll do him now. And we'll save. So with Elias, he's the ghost type gym leader. He's literally a corpse. Like, that is just what he is. Um, all of his Pokemon have multi-scale, effectively. They, they take twice as less damage. Or half the damage. From full HP. Which is actually really good. So it's kind of a threatening fight. Mimic used the lead and it has play rough, so it can be kind of scary. Most of the time it likes to go for Shadow Sneak, for whatever reason. But I am not complaining. Not great. Oh, miss. Really good. Yeah, that Bayonetta is prankster. It's really annoying. <laughs> Elias and Larry are really very similar. <laughs> Elias is just Larry if he was dead, I feel like.
And they get Makiris, they get random stat buffs. Not random, actually, but they get assigned, like, just different stat buffs. Lots of chances to get crit here. Not my special attack. Unlucky. Not great. Mega Mall while Sucker Punch, so I have to be high enough to tank it. I'm actually really surprised I just got upsped by that. Hopefully that's not going to be an issue. Got the Sucker Punch. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Closer than I thought, honestly. Mega Mawile does have a lot of attack. No, don't do that. No need to, I don't think there's any really need to save for Champ. I mean, I can technically die, but it's just not that bad. A banger. Yeah, the only thing that can hit me here is Magnezone, which has Sturdy. Gotta heal again for that. At least to crit that turn. That's still dying from full, no problem. the magnezone. Should be GG. Yeah, just dragon call the rest. Cool. Good stuff. Pretty rocky run. Wish I had been able to show this in a better uh I don't know, situation, I guess. But Glad it was showcased nonetheless.
Wasn't sure if I needed X speed for this Mega Salamence, but I did it anyways. So, should be good. Alright, time's gonna be on the Hall of Fame fade out as usual. Thank you for watching, everyone. Um, I'm gonna try to get to bed soon. It is very late where I am, but uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the uh, all the love here. Um, I would recommend playing this game. Uh, I don't know that I can. <laughs> it's kind of a rough game. The community is like not very welcoming, um, but the game is like the game is like pretty fun. It's like there's a lot of creative ideas with it. So, um, it's just, it's just not very fun to speedrun, I think. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you guys, uh, is, is Renegade Platinum next or is Moon next? Either way. I think, I think Renegade Platinum's next, so. That's a very hype run, you should stick around for that if you can. 